the B movie plays on the idea as above, so below in many ways. In fact, below could be seen as another one of the movie's buried puns. This is the idea that the microcosm reflects the macrocosm and that different levels of a hierarchy resemble each other. The people are economically above the bees and are charged with exploiting the bees, but the bees are physically above the people in some ways because they can fly in ways that people can't. The whole thrust of the romance between Barry and Vanessa is that Vanessa wants to see the Tournament of Roses, that's her dream, and Barry's dream is that Vanessa will go flying with him, and the plot is orchestrated in such a way as to bring these two things about. When it happens, there is an above so below play going on because there are bees above supporting the plane full of flowers and there are bees below on the tarmac taking the shape of a giant pulsating flower to show where to land the plane. There are in fact a whole series of allusions to the idea that somehow it should be a good idea for people to emulate bee society and the movie in large measure is aimed at promoting this and this promotion is still going on today with memes and heavily viewed videos and pranks and so on but it's done in an uncritical way without looking at the movie, what the movie really means in a lot of ways and it's quite a departure that way from say Star Trek The Next Generation where the Borg were shown as a bee-based society, a hive mind with a queen ruling it that has no respect for people's individual rights and is seen as oppressive. In the bee movie, we are shown this as above, so below principle in that bees are constantly made to look like humans in some ways and vice versa, but it's also parodied or undercut at some points. The idea that bees resemble humans is both presented and lampooned a little bit and some of the lampooning is not something I've seen discussed very much. There's a question as to whether the bees in the movie are Jewish because at times they talk as if, if they are. They call themselves bee-ish or they, the mother at least, is concerned that Barry should be dating someone who is bee-ish. When he comes back, Adam says that his parents will, will kill him if he dates a wasp. Now, this could be an example, I think, of bees acting in the characteristic way of industrializing societies who want to imitate the societies that are already industrialized. They have a heavy influence, uh, emphasis on factory production, on people learning to do assembly line repetitive jobs, and also copying certain aspects of the culture that is more industrially advanced. But in this case, it seems to me that the bees are acting, they are learning by rote. They don't know fully what it means to be human or a particular human culture, and they're trying to copy without having a full understanding of what makes Jewish people Jewish in this case. When Adam says that Barry's parents will kill him if he dates a wasp, he could be copying a quote or an idea from human society. Now, humans don't t tend to literally date insect wasps, but there could be a prohibition on a Jewish person dating a wasp when wasp is an acronym for white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. So someone not wanting a Jewish young adult to marry outside the faith, the faith would say, don't date that wasp, but it doesn't mean a flying, stinging insect in the literal sense, as it can mean to the bees. And as Adam and Barry have this exchange, they walk behind what seems to be a huge vat of nectar. And in it, there's this bee performing the most wild and incongruous action to me in the movie, perhaps, and that he, he is standing there in what looked like a deep-sea diving outfit, except that it has no breathing hose. It's a pressure suit with no breathing hose. And he's got a squeegee, and he's, he's squeegeeing down the inside walls of this vat completely filled with liquid. Now, when humans would do something like window washing, they wouldn't completely flood the inside of what they want to wash. It would make no sense. The correspondence visually 
that I can see in the movie with this action is when the people at Honey Farms are discovered by Barry stealing the honey as he sees it, and they are squeegeeing the honey off the inside of the artificial hives, and they are dressed in protective clothing, which would resemble to some extent the deep sea diving suit that the bee wears inside the vat of nectar. So somehow they've been exposed to this image, they have a bit of a hive mind, perhaps they've caught a little flash of it in their imaginations because they still have some connection to the bees who are out in the work camps, and perhaps they have absorbed this image somehow and they've tried to copy it, but the context is completely out of place. The as above, so below, macro, macrocosm, microcosm resemblance doesn't work very well when, as a human, you can pick up a squeegee and, and wipe all the honey off the hive, whereas a bee, you're not the same size and you're inside the, the vat of, of nectar rather than outside it, and your squeegeeing doesn't have the same effect. There's also the Larry King exchange, the bee Larry King, which I think reveals some key things about bee culture. They claim that there are bee versions of famous humans, like Bee Gandhi and, and the joke Bee Jesus and Bee Columbus. This is what Barry himself says, even as he's uh, working on a lawsuit that's about property rights. And it seems that B. Larry King, the foundation of the show is that he is being the human Larry King. The B. Larry King is imitating. So to be, B-E-E -E and B-E-E -E in this case, means to copy, to imitate, to appropriate someone's individual identity. And this is done in, in such a flagrant fashion that B. culture doesn't seem to consider it wrong to steal an individual's identity. When Barry goes to court, he complains that humans are using individual words and concepts from bee culture that they shouldn't be using and they're stealing. So they, he goes after the humans for stealing little items like individual words, whereas in bee media, there's uh, bee Larry King who's in appropriating an entire individual identity. So there's a double standard that bees are allowed to steal from humans uh, and human individuals specifically. So bees don't see it wrong to steal from an individual, but they, they see it as wrong to appropriate one aspect of a culture. So in some ways it, it's uh, inversion, a hypocritical examination of who should own what, because bees don't have much of a concept of private ownership. Everything they do is for the sake of the hive, and for the collective. So this inversion shows up in many different ways in the film and is a joke in many ways I think that a lot of people still haven't quite gotten when they just repeat and pass on the parts of the film meme-like without really examining what they're saying. <laughs>